Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a caselet. It says that there are five persons, Farhan, Liam, Omkar, Ramdeep and Abhay. They sell different flowers. And for each person, the selling price per kg, the cost price per kg and the profit per kg is distinct. Okay, so selling price, cost price and profit. And these values are all positive integral multiples of rupees 50. Okay. And we are given certain uh, information and we need to answer these questions based on it. So basically we will have to find the, uh, we will find the selling price, the cost price and the profit for all these people. Okay. So there are five people. Uh, F, L, O, R, A. So their names are Flora. They are selling flowers. Interesting. So the first thing in such questions is to fill direct information, whatever is given to us. So first says Liam purchases flowers as 200 per kg. So for Liam, the cost price is 200 and profit per kg is 50 more than what Omkar makes. So let us say Omkar makes a profit of X. So Liam will make a profit of X plus 50. Okay. Farhan sells his flowers as 500 per kg. So Farhan, the selling price will be 500. Purchases for 50 more than what Ramdeep purchases for. Okay. So we may have to make too many variables. So let us take like this. 50 more than what Ramdeep purchases for. So let us say Ramdeep purchases for B. So sorry, cost price is B. This will be B plus 50. The selling price per kg for Abhay is at least 450 while the cost price is at least 250. So it is at least 450 and this is at least 250 minimum okay the cost price per kg for any of the five persons is not greater than 400 not greater than 400 that means the maximum value is 400 it has to be less than or equal to while the selling price is not greater than 550 so these are the constraints for cost price and selling price the profit per kg that Liam makes is 100 more than what Ramdeep makes. So Liam's profit is 100 more than Ramdeep. This is A plus 50. So we subtract 100. So we get A minus 50 here. Okay. Then we have the last statement given as Omkar sells his flowers at 350 per kg. So Omkar, the selling price is 350 per kg. And the profit per kg for him is 200 less than that of Farhan. Okay, so his profit per kg is 200 less than Farhan. So Farhan will have uh, Farhan will have 200 extra. So this will be A plus 200. Okay, so we have this all information given to us. Based on this, we have to find all these values. How do we find these values? Is see the constraint that we have is that these cost price, profit and selling price will be distinct, right? So all these are unique values. All these will be unique values and so will be these unique values. Okay. And then these are all positive integral multiples of 50. So these are multiples of 50 that we know. Fine. Let's start solving it now. Now for each of these persons, we see that one, one black and for this person, there is no blank. We have an equation in forms of A and B. Okay. So if you look at this, we see that A. So we know that selling price is cost price plus profit. So A plus B plus 250 is equal to 500. So this gives us A plus B is equal to 250. Okay. Now we will take some cases. We will take A and possible value of B. Now none of them can be zero. Because it has to be multiples, positive integral multiples of 50. So we can take 50 and 200. Okay. We can have 100 and 150. We can have 150 and 100. And the last case will be 200 and 50. So we have four possibilities. Let us try to fit in the possibilities of A and B and see that what satisfies. Okay. All right. So uh, if we see this. Uh, for each person, this is distinct, right? So maybe one selling price of one might be the cost price of other. That is perfectly fine. But uh, certain things that we need to see is, let us say if we put 
let us put some case right a is equal to 50 so if you put a is equal to 50 here uh, this will be 300 okay this comes as 300 if you put a is equal to 50 here this will be 300 okay does it satisfy satisfying so see this cannot be 50 because if you put a is equal to 50 this will become zero but profit cannot be zero so that means we cannot put a is equal to 50 okay we cannot put a 50 because this will become zero so let us take a is equal to 100 okay uh, if we take a is equal to 100 this will be 150 plus 200 this will become 350 which is not permissible because these two have to be unique so we cannot take a is equal to 100 now we will take a is equal to 150 and then 200 so if we take a is equal to 150 this value is 150 this value will become 200 and again these two become same so we cannot take a is equal to 150 also so only one case remains that should fit okay so let's try putting this this will be 400 and this will be 100 fine okay a plus 50 is 250 plus 200 450 works fine so far so good a is equal to 200 this will be 150 fine not overlapping with any value a is 200 this is 150 and b is 50 this comes as 200 so satisfying all the criteria so this is the solution that we will get okay so we will use these values and solve for the remaining of the things so let me just write the correct values so 100 and 400 this is 250 this is 200 150 and this is 50 now we are left with this person abhay okay for abhay we are given a condition that his cost price is minimum 250 okay and his selling price is minimum uh, is at least 450 okay now how do we use this data is so uh, he will have to have more than equal to 450 he cannot have 450 because 450 is already taken he cannot have 500 500 is already taken so he can only have a selling price that is 550 and 550 is the upper limit also okay he cannot have 450 he cannot have 500 so he has to have 550 and that is the upper limit also so only unique value possible now if you look at the cost price so cost price it says is it should be minimum 250 so we can have 250 we can have 300 we can have 350 also and maximum 400 because all other values are already taken which are smaller than 250 so it does not matter okay now we will have to see what matches here so if we take 250 this will be 300 profit fine good if we take 300 the profit turns out to be 250 not possible if we take 350 the profit is 200 again not possible if we take 400 the profit is 150 which is again not possible so the only possibility is 250 and 300 so his cost price will be 250 and his profit sorry cost price is 250 so profit will be 300 correct so this is the solution that we will get for this case let what is the maximum profit that any person makes in selling one kg of flowers so maximum profit that we see is 400 rupees per kg okay what is the price at which liam sells uh, so liam sells at 450 what is the price at which omkar purchases so basically they have asked the cost price for omkar so omkar the cost price is 150 a person who buys one kg of flowers from each one of them spends how much so if a person is buying one kg from all of them we'll add these values so 750 1100 that is the sum of these values so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions